Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Dome Keeper. We need to play some more Dome Keeper. A, because it's a good warm up run, and B, no way in heck am I letting Chris sneak up on me with his 13 badges. Uh uh uh. And Ashen Rand's been playing a lot of this game. He's up to 15. He posted a screenshot on the Discord. He's got all of the top row challenge modes complete. This guy, he's. He's uh, skipping doing them all on regular mode. I gotta, I gotta crank up my own completion rate here. I'm gonna try heavy hitters. Let me get this mouse pointer off the screen. And I would like to do it on challenge mode. I did dense iron, which has additional wave weight of 30 and additional wave strength of 300%. Heavy hitters has a slightly lower strength multiplier, but it's swarming with melee monsters. And I want to do big ol' sword synergy here. We're taking Buzzsaw, we're taking the Sword Dome, and I was thinking about this. We could take Repellent, but I don't think slowing down enemies matters. We could take Orchard, I don't think stopping enemies matters. We could take Drone Yard, but I want to save Drone Yard for other, other runs. So I think Shield is what I want, because we can maybe take the invulnerability shield now that we have that unlocked and we can just take the sword upgrades that are not long sword like spinning around the entire entire screen we can take that fast sword that just like boing 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 meat grinder so I think I'm gonna meat grinder this run we have the engineer because I like the engineer uh, all of these upgrades available to us let's jump into a warm-up run of Dome Keeper. An X in chat says, I used to run Helldive difficulty in Helldivers. That was the best feeling doing it solo. I might give Shroud Shooter a play since it'll be free to play. I didn't know Shroud was making a shooter. I don't necessarily... I don't necessarily care too much about the solo indie streamer goes into game development. <laughs> thing I feel like you know if they're trying to develop a game and they have no experience doing so but they only have experience playing games it's probably not not gonna go that well hey by the way man I would certainly love to make a game one of these days man that would be cool wouldn't it um so shield electro blast creates a deadly field around your dome for a short time it could be 10 seconds twice per wave and it does passive damage or we could go for, whoa, is that 20 seconds of invincibility? Hold on. Triggers an active combat ability that makes your dome invulnerable for a short time. Automatically activates an additional time when the shield depletes. Gain a long period of invulnerability when your dome is about to be destroyed. After use, your shield will not charge for the next battle. Last stand can only be triggered again after two Completed waves. Okay. Interesting. Um, you know, the electro damage is, in, is tempting because it's 20 seconds of kind of invulnerability. If, there's, if it's only melee enemies that we're going to be facing, this could help to stop them and electrify them, right? I, I assume if they're electrified, they might not even attack. You know, they might have like a little bit of a stun effect on them, and it's more damage. Uh, the main build that I'm, I want to do here is, uh, we'll probably take Javelin, and we're going to take the Long Blade here. It does a little bit less damage than Heavy, okay, it does way less damage than Heavy Blade. Hold up, this thing does 600 damage versus 80? The, the thing about the long blade and the electric blade is that it it it's really fast and it bounces around a lot but dude six hundred damage in a single hit but electrified blade also loses less speed on a slice here's the here's the truth of the matter okay the truth of the matter is that we don't have to decide on what we're taking right now. Why is the rock always so damn dense? We don't have to care what we take right now. Because we are going to 
have to survive a few waves with basically no sword upgrades. Although we might go for like the basic sword upgrade first. Mainly, we're gonna need those upgrades as soon as we start fighting more difficult enemies. Which will happen. The game seems very quiet for me today. I think there's just no music. The music doesn't start until wave two <laughs> for some reason. Although, uh, it might just be bugged. I think, uh, like, I either the game updated or something and I kind of lost the configuration settings I had previously. I don't know. But, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about the sword when we actually have points to spend in those upgrades. Right now, we don't have any points to spend in those upgrades, so. Oh, let's go. Very, very big. But yeah, this is another one of those challenge runs on the challenge difficulty. It's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. We might die. But God damn it, it's a price we're willing to pay. Right, soldier? We do have the buzzsaw as well. The buzzsaw is going to help keep us alive, I hope. Could also have gone with dome armor and had like super melee reduction, but well, we'll stick with what we have. So we know, we know that there's going to be a lot of enemies, a lot of enemies. I really feel like just buffing the sword is gonna give us the biggest advantage right now because this is not like your normal difficulty where there's like one enemy. Okay, there's actually, there were, there were two. I mean, last time, I did this difficulty, like the challenge mode. Wasn't there like five enemies, one of which was a rock thrower on the first round of combat? So I'm honestly a little bit surprised it was that easy. But there we go, we've got some music going now. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit more atmospheric. I love this game though, it's a fun game. As difficult as it is, and as difficult as some of the modes are, I do enjoy me some Dome Keeper. X says Speed Blade is super fun. I, I've, I've used the Speed Blade before. I, I actually don't think I've used Big Blade before, uh, like a, a melee build with it. I've definitely have had Heavy Blade with like a long stab, but that doesn't really affect the damage that much. In fact, Electrified Blade is probably a little bit better with the electricity damage on it. But uh, yeah, I mean, Heavy Blade, Killing enemies in a single hit, big enemies, could be awesome. Long blade bouncing around, hitting at hitting more often, but for less damage, and it's faster. I don't know. It's a it's a tough call, I think. A tough call. Again, I think you could go either way, and we might in fact go either way. I haven't I haven't really thought about it too much. I just knew that this is the build that I wanted for this challenge. The challenge of there's a lot of heavy enemies. Because I think that this is going to be not the worst or hardest challenge mode. Oh, we got to go. Because melee enemies, the benefit is that they don't fire a lot of projectiles. So if you kill them before they hit you, you're good. And with a little bit of shield protection from our gadget, I'm hoping we can just like sustain here. And I'm, I don't think we can do a, an entirely defensive build. Like I don't think we can, uh, let, let me rephrase. I don't think we can go a completely automatic passive build. Like I don't think that the buzzsaw is going to kill all of the enemies before they hit the dome. Though I wonder if, I wonder if with the invulnerability shield, if maybe you could do that. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it more as we go. Did you get the bounce blade upgrade? I think I have had the bounce blade upgrade once. Like my first time playing around with the upgrades and uh, it was fun. It was definitely fun to see the uh, the long blade just bounce around super quickly. Boing, 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 boing. How good is it? I don't know. Meow. But I might go for a... Uh... 
a more... Oh, that's not the enemy I wanted to hit. I'm gonna go for a more classical approach. Just having a blade. Stop turning this direction. Buzzsaw could have maybe a little bit of better AI, but we can upgrade the buzzsaw and it does seem like it prioritizes pointing in the direction the enemies are coming in it. I know we didn't quite see that, but I think that was more just due to the fact that an enemy was approaching as it was starting to aim and then I killed the enemy and it continued to aim in that direction. But if the, if the saw blade, if it, you know, predicts enemy movement and is pointing in their direction, dude, that could be a really nice upgrade for us. I'm, 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 in, I'm gonna enjoy that, I hope. Here we go. Will droid, welcome. I have no particular attachment to this dome, but it's mine. And that means I won't let you have it. That's basically me to these, you know, horrible aliens trying to kill me. Like, yes, I did crash into your home planet and murder some of you, but I mean, this is my dome. This is my space dome. How you doing, Will Droid? Place Bool also welcome. Did you see that Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers is finally out? I knew that it was gonna be out soon. I didn't realize it had already come out. Uh, I really liked the demo of that game. I might have to pick that up and actually play it, like proper let's play. It is a good game. It's, uh, you know, B what Bellatro did to Blackjack, no, sorry, what Bellatro did to Poker, Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers is doing to Blackjack. You have a, a deck of cards that's like the Ace of Cats. The cat paws the opponent's cards and scratches it, and when the opponent's card gets scratched twice, it gets destroyed. Or, you know, BS like that. It's got the roguelite, Blackjack, aesthetic, and it looks like a fun-ass game. And it is a fun-ass game. I played the demo for quite a while, actually. It's a flying, oh, it's, it's a melee enemy, isn't it? It's just a flying melee enemy, okay. Come here. Okay, we took a little bit of damage, not much at all. Thank you to Astrodas for gifting me a sub. Sadly, I was home for the month. He gifted me, I have five days left of Will Droid. <laughs> gifted you a sub to, to, to Shake or to me? Either way, you're welcome. Why does the game seem so quiet today? It might just be the planet. Is the planet we're on just super quiet? I don't know. We don't need a dome health meter. We're actually doing pretty well. Saw blade, we can improve its damage by like a factor of eight. Clean your ears, I did today. It was disgusting, ugh. But how you doing, Chris? I have to, I have to win this run to get two more points to uh, get ahead of you in the <laughs> keeper ranking. Move speed up, autonomous. So you couldn't, you couldn't go passive build until you got this upgraded. Okay, stun laser, I know that it, it just is two water, or one water, I think, by default. Okay, uh, well, I wanna, I wanna save my money. I wanna get more keeper upgrades because mining is super slow right now. I'm not even gonna mine that. Oh, that's a wall. Planet or mode doesn't seem to play a ton of music. So I, uh, there's an option in the menu and let me actually look at that right now. There's an option in the menu for frequency of music. If you set it to zero, every wave it will play music. But it seems like it's not playing the music up in the dome after a wave ends. I find that to be kind of interesting. Meow to yourself. Okay. Sword's been fine. This has actually been pretty easy so far. I, I, I thought this would be way more difficult because after doing the dense iron challenge and after the first wave of dense iron being like four melee enemies that are exceptionally tanky and then the rock thrower, dude, I was like, man, are all of the challenge modes gonna be that hard? But you know, that might not be the case because this one definitely seems much 
more gentle to start with, at least. We gotta go back. In fact, I gotta dump something to go back. You're gonna force me to stream this again today to defend my rankings, you bastard. Fortunately, uh, because A is higher than both S and C in the dictionary, my name comes up first, so you have to actually get one more point than me to beat me. I, I break tiebreakers automatically. <laughs> What is this challenge? Heavy hitters. The planet is swarming with melee monsters. So we're gonna have big old bouncing sword. That's a melee? You son of a gun. Well, now I know. I didn't think that the dive bombers would count, but they do. So we're, we're gonna need some form of stabbing. It doesn't need to be a lot, but we will need some stabbing capabilities. You know, let's just pull these up. Wow, actually, we're pretty fast pulling up six resources right now. But also, Chris, it's not a, not a huge problem to play more Dome Keeper, you know what I mean? Game's pretty fun. I would recommend, though, playing the challenge modes on these because they are way more interesting than the normal modes. Like, if, if you've just been winning the normal modes constantly, crank it up. It took me several tries to find a good run for uh, dense iron. I tried to do it without iron worms. I went for uh, blast mining. Not the way to go. <laughs> Not the way to go at all. Uh, ooh, come on. All right, we're gonna take this load up. Ha ha ha. And we should hopefully... I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know if I'm looking for something that will benefit our mining or our defenses. I, I think that I would like to get like a lift. Something that would make ascending a little bit faster, because we're gonna have to go pretty low. Furnace is nice. What is that sound? Furnace is nice. Prospecting meter's okay. Probe, I think, is a little bit better. Underground station doesn't do enough. Like, it's fun, but... Here's, here's my problem with Underground Station. You gotta go up anyways to the surface because you have to bring up resources. Technically, if you had Station plus Teleporter, you wouldn't need to go back up. Well, no, because Teleporter doesn't teleport resources anymore. It used to, it used to. But um, yeah, I don't think we need it. Underground Station with resource reveal. Might, might as well just take Prospecting Meter though, right? Then you can mine everywhere. Furnace is delay which we don't really need. I think we're fine with the combat. I'm gonna take the prospecting meter here. Like, I feel like having a meter that shows me resources, that'll help me mine. Why not? Seems good to me. Needs more explodey suit, says Quark. Man, the explodey suit was so fun. That's such a good upgrade. Although I, I will stand by my favorite build of this game. I have two favorite builds so far, one of which was four Drillberts. That was fun. <laughs> and the other one was triple explosive bombs. That one, it mined the whole map in like two minutes. It's gonna step up this wave. I mean, we'll, we'll upgrade our sword pretty soon. We're gonna get a lot of iron very shortly. That's not gonna be a problem. Um. We're gonna go for... Trigger an active combat ability that makes your dome invulnerable for a short time. I've never taken this, let's take it. Four seconds of invul... Well, or we could take Electro Blast, which does damage passively. Two uses. Why... Why does it say... And this is a this is a question I have. Why does it say ability duration, additional ability duration? 
Oh, it will last longer if triggered after your shield depletes. That's the additional ability duration. So you want to you, you want to only use this after your shield goes down, and it'll it'll protect you for ten seconds instead. Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay. Yeah, well, in that case, it's actually a tough call. Do you go for Electro Blast to do more damage, or invulnerability of eight seconds? Mr. Abe is not saving. Right now, I'm trying to think about what upgrades to pick up here. I don't want reflection. There's no projectile enemies. I mean, we haven't taken invulnerability. We could try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go for invulnerability here. And the up, the F, F is the invulnerability. Now you. are quite an annoying dude, because you're very strong. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to upgrade the sword here at this point. It's not quite doing enough damage, but we should be able to access a lot of iron now that we have the mining. I'll take this. Keep an eye. Oh, I mean, we'll be fine for a few waves. Oh, iron's close. Not here, must be in this direction. Not bad, not bad. Already found me a little bit of iron earlier than I would otherwise find it. I think the suit upgrade is totally fine. Whether it's this or Probe, Probe is more automatic because you don't have to pay as much attention. This one you have to pay attention to the bar in the bottom left corner, but having additional mining, I'm, I'm additional probing, additional knowledge, I'm a fan of. Especially when we're gonna need, you know, as many resources as possible. Okay, we actually might not have enough for another sword upgrade. Crap. It might be 10 for the next upgrade. We don't really have time to go down for another load, so we're just gonna have to survive a wave. We have a lot of triangles though, so we, we should be fine there. Oh, it's 12. Okay, well, yeah, we, we're gonna need to wait and get more. Okay. Well, then we, we wait and we get more. Uh, you know, let's upgrade so we can see our health. And that's the only thing that we'll do. I think that is a, a good upgrade to get just really quickly. Oh, it's another one of the big guys. That wasn't that bad. I know it looks bad. That wasn't that bad. <clears throat> we do have to decide, though, if we're gonna take the long, long upgrade or if we're gonna take big, heavy sword upgrade. I mean, if anything, that wave kind of made me want to grab a, a big sword upgrade so I can maybe kill enemies in one hit faster. But I'll admit that Losing less speed on a bounce is kind of nice, too. You can just whip that sword around. Once the enemies start getting more health, though, I think we're going to need to kill them in one hit. So I I'm probably going to go for big sword. That's my thinking. I, I, think, I think we're just going to need the raw damage, basically. Okay, let me do a quick little look over here. You know what? I'm glad I came in this direction. I'm glad I have some water. You know, we have enough for an upgrade. If I have to drop the stuff to hold the supplement, we can do that. Now nah, we'll have enough time. Barely, but we'll have, we'll have enough time. 
I want the supplement. I know that the sword has a bomb upgrade. I, I guess I would take it if given the option, but I would love it if I would love it if there were more upgrades for weapons, more unique upgrades rather. Yeah, bomb stab or electrified hull. <laughs> Adds a responsive electrified coat to the dome hall, which hurts melee monsters. You know what? We're taking it. It's exactly what we want, I think. No! Well, okay. Get out of here. Why did I not upgrade the sword? Upgrade the sword. There you go. Much better. Look at me trying to do this without the upgrade that I was like, I'm gonna get this upgrade. Did you, did you see the shield? The dome? It's zapping this guy. That's awesome. Okay. That went fine. It did. It's another one. It's more resources. That's pretty lucky. Gotta find some water though. It does feel like there's almost always water nearby, but I think that's I think that's just happenstance. Like I think there's just a lot of water around. So you see you find it and you're like, oh, there's water, because there's always water. Connie, welcome! How are you doing today? Another challenge run, I'm guessing. This is heavy hitters. Only melee enemies. So we're trying to do this run with a sword, and I'm gonna try to whip my sword around and smack all the enemies before they kill me. Oh, oh. Getting close to iron. I think it's up or down. It's up. Have to go. Wish we'd found a little water. Yeah, meat grinder challenge with a big old sword. Well, we'll find water soon. Sometimes I like just leaving a water on the ground somewhere just in case. Connie says, just, just came home from a metal concert. You lead a much more interesting life than I do. That sounds awesome. I hope you had a good time. Returned damage. Activates on shield depletion. You know what? I'm going to take this. And I'm going to take more health. And then I'm going to heal. Fair enough. I hate that that already triggered the invulnerability, but that wasn't bad at all. Okay. Expensive, but gotta live a little, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I've always said. <laughs> you know me. I like, I have big tastes. And I like big women. That's a lie. Or is it? I don't know. What? <laughs> isn't that what, isn't that uh, what's always said about like big old studio execs or something like that? Like the more powerful you are, he has big tastes. That feel, that, woohoo. That's like the same type of joke though as like, I like my women like I like my coffee. I don't know, I, I kind of just like my coffee straight. <laughs> is, that, is that acceptable? Okay, come on. I didn't mean anything by that one way or another. It's a bad joke all around. It's a bad, bad punchline premise for a joke, rather. Dude, I like having extra vision on my mind. 
Displays the distance to the nearest chamber and improves the range significantly. Power drill. Bomb. I'm gonna go power drill. I think power drill is pretty good. So I'm curious. Oh, right, we can dig through uh, Bedrock now. So I'm curious, Connie, who you were. Uh, like, which. I don't know, band? Did you go to? And did you enjoy yourself? I have like four concerts lined up this fall. Well, I assume you enjoy yourself if you have more of them lined up. The Beast in Black. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Never, never heard of him before. I don't know who that is. I don't know anyone in black. Well, that's not true. I, uh, something, something, don't undressed in black. <laughs> something, something. I don't remember. Anyways, what are we talking about? Mm, I'm gonna save my money. Finnish Hungarian Greek band. Oh lord. That's a lot of qualifiers. I'm not getting you. Oh no. Electrodome save me. I mean, that didn't go that badly. The invincibility is helping me a lot. Okay, let's let's mine this out. Speed drill is going to be so damn helpful for this. It's got to be a a top tier upgrade early, right? Cause like I'm gonna have no problem finding all of the resources now. Okay, nothing there. We have to slightly alter our drilling strategy, but that's not gonna be a problem with this super drill. Turns out that digging more in a digging game is pretty good. You know what? You gotta hand it to this to this game and its developers. They've thought of everything, haven't they? I am gonna have to get some drill upgrades, but we're not gonna need quite as many as we otherwise would, of course. I'm not gonna try to be perfect with the mining either. We've already gotten a, such a good advantage by having the uh, the enhanced drilling and the enhanced uh, vision range. We don't need to be perfect. It's a good upgrade to get, I like. I like being able to see what the hell I'm doing. Wish we had a little bit more iron on that one though. Uh, you know what, give me the faster rotating buzzsaw. I hate to say it, but the big worry for me right now is the large flyers. Because the flyers will hurt the dome before I can kill them in a lot of situations. And that's just no fun. And we're able to mine so deep right now, it's so good. Well, um, let's go this way. Snailgun asks, hey, is Fredacula ever around anymore? I haven't seen him in a while. I imagine they're still kicking somewhere. Ooh, I hope they're doing well wherever they are. Fredacula, we miss you. We miss your crits. Maybe they're just upset with me that I don't play any more dead cells. <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember what their favorite game was. Hi Shadows, welcome. To the keep, to the 
the best keeper of the dome in this side of Alpha Centauri. Lift, mushroom farm, blast mining. I'm thinking lift. We don't need blast mining because we have the power drill. We're gonna mine quickly. The blast mining is fun, but it's unnecessary. But the lift, if we're gonna be mining a lot, the lift can help take up the resources and get us up to the surface faster. I like the lift. Eyeshadow says, today I tried the last challenge about cobalt. Ooh, tell me about it. How was it? Miserable? <laughs> Which is what I expect. How did it go? <laughs> tell me. Did you win? Did you do it? I won. Why do you say sorry? That's great. Well, great for you, not great for me, because it means I have to get that challenge done one of these days. Yeah, it was miserable, though. Okay, well. As long as you weren't having a good time. <laughs> we'll make it, we'll make it, we'll make it, we'll make it. Iron contribution at least has worms. You can't use that on the cobalt one. To, like, get free cobalt. So, so is the cobalt one just you have to send cobalt home to complete the run? Can you not just get, like, a tree? And can you not just get resource converter to convert things into cobalt and then go? Because if you can just convert things into cobalt, it shouldn't be that hard, right? Sort agility down. We could really organize these a little bit better. None of these buff the sword agility at all. You just buff the range and, and retract speed, which is like, who cares? Uh, I'm gonna buff, I'm gonna buy rather the... You know, autonomy, eh, what do we care? We're gonna be here every time. I'm just kind of like spinning my wheels here thinking about what to what to buy. I mean, I want to buy shield strength, but it's not going to charge right now because we're already beginning the wave. So I don't know, orb speed. And then another orb. I'm just going to like general upgrade the economy. Oh, I tried so hard. All right, my uh, strategy failed. What was my strategy? Yes. All right, you know what? Don't you fly away from me, you jerk. Get over here. There's a wave limit. Oh, that's that's why that challenge is so hard. I see, I see. Yeah, that sounds that sounds fantastic. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, yeah, I get the problem now. So you have to get enough cobalts within a certain number of waves, and you probably can't use it to heal much, so. Well, I can't wait to get to that challenge. Ha 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 ha. Gladare says, I was able to do it in 13 waves. I mean, that seems like a challenge where you could get lucky. You could get lucky and get what you need immediately. Mortar requires too much iron. Tesla is a straight, no suffering. Sword done with long stab upgraded to max 35 iron and shield support. Solved the survival problem. I really, I like sword dome. I thought it was a little bit gimmicky initially, but it's like, I think it's the best dome. Because it just solves so many problems. Big enemies, well, you just smack them once with the sword at the max upgrade, it kills them in one hit. Oh, you have, you have, uh... Aer lots of aerial enemies? Just take the long stab and you just zip it around and kill them. Like, you have solutions to so many problems. I 
It's a very fun one. We need more iron. I'm not seeing anything on the, the probe either. I might have to upgrade the probe, because... Yeah, we're, we're, I'm not seeing anything. So we can make it have a much larger range. We're gonna start there. I don't think we need the cobalt upgrade, but I wanna be able to see where the resources are at least. There we go. Keep that invulnerability intact for when they're here. Got to admit, the invulnerability is pretty good. Oh, I do have enough. We got one iron from something. Sword is easy to upgrade to kill all the enemies from a single wave. Yeah, the sword, sword is just solid, man. iron up here. And probe is probe is pretty good, isn't it? Especially with a 12 range. Like you don't have to really care too much about making good mine shafts. You just look for the symbol to light up and you're like, oh, I'm gonna mine there. Mortar Dome is extremely strong with Monster Buster. I, I have no doubt that it can be strong. I'm, I just don't trust my own aim. <laughs> I don't trust my own aim with Monster Buster. I much prefer the AOE. I think it's easier to land. And for the most part, big enemies give you a lot of time to kill them, so it doesn't really matter. We got a freaking tree. We'll plant it here. Uh, it doesn't really matter as much if you ha take a couple of, of mortar shots to kill them all. They'll die eventually. So this will just make iron at some point. Oh, we have to go. Oh, I am so late. It's because I've been good up to now about actually getting back to base, so it's it's accounted for that. It's like, oh, this guy is pretty good at getting back to base. There's no reason that we need to you know, warm, warn him sooner. The wrong enemy. Are you kidding me? I can't hit him. Okay, I really thought I would be able to hit him before he started pummeling the shield. That kind of makes me a little scared. Um, but I think if we get another upgrade to the sword, we can hit him. Well, it'll have a little bit more range, just a little bit. I'm gonna upgrade shield strength. Upgrade the recharge rate of my probe. And I'm gonna go get the iron that was down here. It should be enough iron to still afford the Next sword upgrade, I hope. I hope. Should just be down here. Oh, never mind. Don't mind that. Duh. 
I'm like, the probe said that there was iron down here. Yeah, no duh. You ain't wrong. You ain't right, but you ain't wrong. This way? Yes, it is. We're not gonna have time to get the, the sword upgrade, by the way. We're gonna have to live for one more wave. This is enough, but it's, we can't bring it all back fast enough. So what I'm thinking is, let's mine it from this side. We can just kind of pull it into the shaft. At least there's a lot of triangles, you know, that's the positive. Gotta go. Can't really afford to stall this one out, we gotta go. I should have said this, I started with converter. I like converter. If you start with it, you can get a lot of free resources early. But don't you have to upgrade it at least once to get good value from it? I believe that might be the case. I'm so annoyed that that is considered a melee enemy. We should definitely start getting some stab upgrades. Go ahead. Maybe upgrade the buzz saw too. Totally upgrade your ads. Ads or orbs? Or buzzsaw. <laughs> My shadows. I definitely don't think I need to upgrade my orbs. Oh, that's. I gotta mine this first. It's so perfect. I'll ponder my orbs. Gadgets? Yeah, well, I'm out of water, so. If I had more water, I'd upgrade it. This, this is what I need. I need a big iron influx. We have to upgrade the sword. We can upgrade so much from this. There's more iron to the left. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, 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 good. Get all this in. Get this in. Still have plenty of triangles. Get all this in. And I'll, I'll do a load myself. Gadgets get exponentially better. That is pretty much accurate. You know, the more upgrades you have on the gadgets, the better they are. That's why I upgraded the uh, probe, actually. I really wanted to have that maximum probe distance. All right, well, we missed one. You know what, I'm gonna drop one more. Ash and Ran, welcome! It's gonna be a while, Ash, before I beat your high score again in Dome Keeper, because <laughs> you're at like 15. I'll get there though! Damn it, I'll get there. Okay. Sword is slower, but does way more damage. Yes. And then we have nine more iron. I will upgrade, well, 
I'm gonna upgrade Buzzsaw twice. That's how much I believe in the Buzzsaw. I can't believe I miss every time. There we go. So I think I have more range now. I should be able to s slice this guy. Yes, I can hit him. Ah, oh, much better. You know, I I actually think the reflecting damage is, is what's killing him. Ashen Ren says, I just saw your answer, but you play the assessor better than me. I don't know how to dig with all those orbs. I think that here's my, my tip for people who are struggling with the assessor, okay? Don't focus on the perfect mine shafts. You want a grid, right? Because for instance, if I'm right here and I'm the assessor, if I mine up and down, it's going to create that vertical connector between the top and the bottom mine shafts. That's what you want. You want to just use the orb to mine in two different directions as once, and if you can get that down, you're gonna have much better like efficiency of your time. Playdare says my tip is get the orb reflection really quickly. I didn't really use those too much. I should I should use them more. You're not wrong, but I don't really use those too much. Lift speed upgrade. Yeah, that would be a good one to get. We're doing well though. We're doing well. Okay, there's no iron anywhere near here. There's no iron anywhere near here. So we're gonna move up a little bit. Orb Reflector is Engineer 2.0. Here's the beauty of it though, you don't need Orb ref Reflector as the Assessor if you just place your orb correctly so that you mine in two different directions at once. Like if you're mining up and down, you don't need to reflect it, you're, mi you're getting value out of both hits of it. I think that's the key. I wait until the dive birds come close to the dome so I don't miss. You're, you're actually right about that X, because I, I did that once, and it worked very well, and then I didn't do it. And I'm like, why am I missing? Dude, I'm buying the sword upgrade. Crap. This is what we needed. I mean, it's one-shotting every enemy it hits. It's perfect. I love it. Where is the rest of this iron? We, ha we have to do a drill upgrade next. We've been able to coast on the value of power drill. We're, we're gonna need more. The collector is good for mining resources, gadgets, and making straight tunnels for bundles, speedy travel. Well, th here's the thing though, is that you don't really need, again, you don't really need reflector. If you can still make long straight tunnels with your orbs, you just have to go around and mine from below every time you want to extend the tunnel. So you're mining up and down at the same time. You just do that in chunks, and then you still get good mining value, but you're mining in two, di two different directions at once. You can also just like, you know, put some effort into uh, the compression mining, although that takes a little bit more time. For simplicity's sake, I do like the engineer, though. I like just being able to just press into a block and mine it fast. It's convenient. Hurry first to dig up and down, then left and right, then up and down. You lose so much time 
finish the dig in the gaps. I would say that Assessor requires a little bit more kind of like long-term thinking because you can't really think about, oh, I need to mine this specific block and more about what am I trying to mine in the future? Okay, I can get this, which we should. Look at the size of my sword. I'm not worried about the big guy. We could still get long stab. I gotta be honest, I don't really want long stab. Melee challenge? Yes, indeedy. Heavy hitters, it's the challenge version of heavy hitters. And I've gotta say, it's actually not that bad. I thought this would be a lot harder. Like the dense iron challenge was. Dense iron suck ass. This is not that bad. Did I need one more ground tile for that to actually uh, grow correctly? I might have needed one more ground tile. It is. Dense iron was hell. Dense iron sucked. I feel like this is not that hard. Like the enemies are easier. Trees only need a single tile to grow on. I guess it'll probably grow the third branch in a little bit then. I should also mine one of those irons. It only needs three, but I'm lazy. Yeah, it'll work, it'll work. For shooter challenge, you just need Spire and a Tree Man. Shoot the Tree Man attack so you can dig forever. Well, the... There are anti-stall mechanics in Dome Keeper. I don't think you could really dig forever. go back up. Here's here's how to learn how to like the assessor. Play maze and don't get, take anything that drills. <laughs> Do that and then you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out or die trying. I'm going to do fast staff. It's free to dig forever. I know I know it has anti-stall mechanics. I'm curious how you were able to uh, keep shooting forever. Also, doesn't Tree Man have a separate attack when he gets close enough? Like he shoots a big laser? This fire doesn't stop the laser, does it? Connie says, I refuse to do the maze without the rig. Oh, come on. Shoots a big orb. It's still a ranged attack. Okay, well maybe, maybe it'll work then. It'll probably work then. You're telling me it's gonna work, but it, you're countering my understanding of the game right now, so I have to second guess it. Okay, there's no iron in this direction. There's no iron down, it's just the tree. There's iron over here though. Orb explosion is how I completed cobalt, says eye shadows. That's um, when your mining orb finishes its lifetime, it explodes, is that correct? I feel like that's pretty good.
Anti-stall mechanic works, but it applies on the wave after the stall. That seems like not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> why, why would it... How does that... Any, how does that give it any value if it applies after it needs to? I, I've never... I've only seen it once, I think. But uh, I, I haven't seen it in action, and I haven't seen it uh, after it got updated a couple of times in the patch notes. You know, water and triangles, that would have been a good place for the... Oh, the tree automatically harvests. Let's go. That would have been a nice place for the trees. We could get freebies. Yeah, expl oh, you just trigger it and it's exploding. I'll take exploding orbs. Ponder these exploding orbs. Why don't you? Dude, things are going quite well. Um, I think I'm going to buff the shield, and then we'll buff... Oh, I can't buff this thing to find water or cobalt. That's fine. Shield's going to be a little stronger. The orbs that explode mine stuff, ignoring hardness as I shadows. Oh, that's huge. So you can mine anything with it. I mean, that's one of the things that I liked about the blast mining, is it mines anything instantly. So even on dense iron, it's like, oh, I don't care about dense iron. It's iron to me. I think Heavy Blade was the right call with this build, because the shield is keeping us alive from the small enemies. I kill them in one swipe, and then they're done. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. Ignore the zigzag. You don't ever need to upgrade your mining power. Yeah, with um, blast mining, <laughs> I definitely felt the same way. I think I was at the uh, the second tier mining power, but it didn't matter. I had infinite exploding orbs that would kill, like, everything in a, a certain range. Three of them. Multiple times every wave, and it was just the easiest mining I've ever done. I upgraded carrying capacity. I don't need to be this uh, cute with it. The nuke bomb run, as Ashen Ran calls it, yes. Nuke them and let God sort it out. Is this water or is this the exit? Wow, that's fast. I feel like this run is just getting started, even though it's been an hour. Might have time for another small load. Gotta go. I missed a full hour, no! Well, at least you get to see the end of the run. I never bought the lift ascender, did I? <laughs> what I would say, upgrades and gadgets are worth it. I mean, you're you're right, Eyeshadows, you're absolutely correct. Gadgets are worth the upgrades, but it you have to balance what you're buying. You know, you can't neglect your drill strength or your speed or your carrying capacity. You can't neglect your weapons. You can't neglect some of the base upgrades either. Like you have to you have to balance. Right now with 11 10 10 I think the Keeper Ascend boost actually helps me the most. 
And uh, I'll probably save for maybe the saw blade. Not neglect, neglect except you can, and sometimes you have to. It, it depends, you know, it depends on a lot of factors on your run. It's not a one size, I don't think there's a one size fit, fits all approach to Domekeeper. I feel like you have to adjust on the fly sometimes. Well, now we can upgrade something. We don't need stabbing. <laughs> Glader says, my strategy is perfect and always works. <laughs> Hey, I did finally manage to unlock one pet, finally. <laughs> There's one size fits all. Adapt or die. Well, roughly know where the uh, exit's gonna be, it's just down below. I could upgrade the probe to find chain. Oh no, I can't upgrade the probe to find chambers. That was a uh, unique upgrade. Oh well. Goodbye probe. What? Yeah, we know roughly where it's gonna be. Find places that save you time, resources, and upgrade it, says I Shadows. That I absolutely agree with. Like you, anything that can speed you up, not necessarily literally, anything that can make you more efficient is a very important upgrade. You have to have enough weapon power to survive the waves, so you have to make sure that you're upgrading that to an extent. Usually the, the first level upgrades are a no-brainer, like get the swords, especially on the challenge modes, I think, because the enemy waves are so much harder. But, um, yeah, like, if you find something that makes you mine more efficiently or mine quickly, like, blast mining, probably worth it. Drillbert saves you a lot of time, probably worth it. Those are good upgrades to have. Absolutely, absolutely worth it. Now this is pod racing. That's why the nuke run was so good because after I picked up what what we're calling the nuke upgrade, uh, I was able to mine everything just so quickly. Like I had a hundreds of iron in like five minutes and I was able to upgrade everything and find the exit after a little bit. Like with Prospector and Engineer, you can upgrade it to max range and find all resources, and hey, you can mine in like six tile-wide strips. Which one's Prospector? Is that self-explosion? That would be good on the Assessor, too. Maybe you can't get it on the Assessor? She has her own unique upgrades, doesn't she? Prospector is a gadget you have above saw in the shop. Oh, so oh, it's, that's uh, mapping. Is that what it is? The radar. That's pretty good. Also, if, wait, if you upgraded the, the resource prospector, at maximum range, couldn't you mine in like 15 tile wide strips and be totally fine? Yeah, range of 12, you could probably mine in like 20 tile strips and still find everything. <laughs> That's a pretty good benefit. 
That's why I'm not caring so much about my mine shafts anymore. It's just dig. Dig in any direction and find iron. Harrison, welcome. Are you winning? Hopefully. Oh my god, look at the iron this tree has given me. I can't carry it all. <laughs> that's a that's a solid place for the tree. Prospecting meter, very good on the cobalt challenge. True, true, true. You are, after all, trying to find as many resources as quickly as possible, right? And of course, the other benefits to it, being able to find more iron, more water. Eyeshadow says, I tried, failed miserably. Eh, you know, sometimes the game just wants to screw you. I'm going to need, does this extend further down? Doesn't look like it does, so we might be able to find final power core without needing another upgrade. Hopefully. I think we're going to have to get iron for a uh, mine speed, though. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Is this the last one? It is! Hell yeah! Let's get out of here. This was not bad at all. Eshenran says, my first challenge was the 200 iron one and I did it without any add-ons. That one doesn't seem that hard. It seems fun. It's a nice casual mining experience. You don't even, you, the enemies don't even attack you. Isn't, is, isn't, isn't that right? I don't think the enemies even attack you at all. That's like just, Fun mining. Have fun mining, kids. I hope it works. Let's try it. Save my life. You know what? The saw blade stopped him on that one. I think this is going to be super easy. In fact, I'm not, I'm not even going to shoot him. I'm just going to do this. That was insanely easy. Even the first waves weren't that bad. Like, compare this to Dense Iron, in which I had to do it like four times. <laughs> yeah, 11 Cobalt, uh, 8 seconds of invincibility, an extra 15 seconds of invincibility when we're about to die. How did I miss that iron on the left? <laughs> Top left. I must have just not paid attention to it. I thought it was the tree when uh, when I was reading the probe meter. Oh. oh, good run. Start another run. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, there were no unlocks. Have I finished all of the unlocks? I doubt it. There's probably more in Orchard and maybe even Drone Yard, maybe even Repellent. But I think we have, we have all of the shield forms. We have Invulnerability, Electroshock, and Reflector. I don't know what they are on the other ones. I know Drone Yard is... Well, I know what they are. It's, um... Battle drone... Long-lasting drones, quick drones, and then the Pestilence drones, right? There you go. There you go. And look at this! Ashen Ran, I'm coming for you, buddy! Username, welcome to the stream. Two hit of the big blade to kill him... Yeah, the, I mean, the super big blade doing 667 damage per hit, that's enough to two-shot the big drill boys, and that's why I got that upgrade path, because we needed it. Against the smaller enemies, yeah, we're not... 
like long blade bouncing off the ground, spinning super quickly, but that's what the shield is for. The extra protection from that means that, that even if an enemy hits us before the sword hits them, the sword's still gonna one-shot them. Joined a bit late today, says username. You did, but I don't hold it against you. So I'm, I wanna look at this because people are talking about it. Deliver 20 cobalt within 20 or 18 cycles. The guild is in urgent need of cobalt and requests that you deliver a lot quickly. Wave strength multiplier 200%, additional wave weight 25. Uh, that's easier than heavy hitters. Heavy hitters was 260, 30. So this should be easier than that. Uh, but yeah, co 20 cobalt's hard to get. I don't think we mined 20 cobalt in that last run. Admittedly, how many how many cycles was that? Hmm. I don't know. But if I if I had to pick, what I would probably pick is repellent to slow down the waves and maybe furnace. And then my, my thinking is with furnace, it'll buy you more time, and then hopefully you can just find a probe or something. Or maybe you can just, you know, mine fast. I don't know. Mining problem. The keeper's mining tools are damaged, you'll need to rely on gadgets. Additional wave weight minus 20. That, I don't know how that works, but that's interesting. Th this does not seem that bad at all. I'll take the personal explosions on that one. Um. Yeah, converter might also work well in cobalt. Absolutely. What's the next one? Far too little iron for normal mining operation. The challenge mode is not that bad. Monster, ma monster masses could also be interesting. Plagued by vast amounts of low tier monsters, even regular mode has additional wave weight. So there's gonna be a lot of little enemies. I would, I would argue laser dome. If it's a lot of little enemies, laser dome, and then maybe drone yard. I I'm thinking for the, uh, well, no, the drones wouldn't work very well. Maybe repellent just to slow enemies. Oh, you know what? Repellent with that upgrade that makes enemies take one damage per second. <laughs> Easy with hammer. Yeah, I mean, shockwave hammer is so good, but we'll, um, you'd be surprised at what the game counts as little. Potentially. But I still like the laser dome. I would, I would probably say not. Well, what, hold on. What about artillery dome? and you get the quad shot, and then you just spam shots to kill all of the enemies as quickly as possible. Uh, but I don't know, I don't like Artillery Dome against aerial units, and there's a lot of small aerial units. We'll consider our options for the next run, but for now, what was it? Heavy hitters. For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at the various links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Domekeeper.